My average day, well, there isn't an average day. Um, every day is different. Um, when I'm at home, uh, it is obviously as much practice as I can get in, as when I'm traveling, sometimes you don't get a chance to practice at all. Um, you're up at, say, six in the morning traveling um, for rehearsals, concert, master classes, etc. And you get home 10, 11 o'clock at night and you have to be up early the next morning and your concentration just isn't there to sit down and do a couple of hours of practice. Um, so it can be very tricky. Uh, before I come away on tour, I always prepare uh, the music I have to play well enough um, so that I know if I don't have a chance to practice, it'll still be okay. Um, often when I am away, practicing in hotel rooms um, is a funny one. Uh, nobody likes people practicing in hotel rooms. Nobody likes it at all. Um, you always get the phone call complaining, so you have to be very quiet, which is another challenge in itself, to try and play the same piece of music, but very quietly, with still the, the same amount of support, etc. Um, so just finding any possible chance you have to, to get the instrument out and play when you're traveling is, is what I do. Um, when I say when I'm at home and don't have a concert for a couple of weeks, the average day will probably be an hour of practice in the morning, um, then answering emails. I've noticed my emails have gone up uh, a lot since being involved in the instruments, which is great. Uh, often a lot of feedback from uh, various people all over the world. Um, a lot of questions, people ask me a lot of questions on you know, Facebook, etc., um, which is a big part of being a musician. I think these days a lot of people just turn up and play the music, which you can't do. You almost have to be a, a public, I guess a, a personality almost. Um, you have to stay in, in contact with these people that appreciate what you do. And um, they, audiences always like to have a, a personal connection with the artist. And so that's a very big part. Um, and then, of course, there's always another hour of practice in the afternoon and uh, another hour in the evening. Uh, but sometimes if I have something very big to learn or a big concert coming up, um, I'll do kind of half an hour on, half an hour off, uh, and then go back uh, and do that the whole day. I have done that a few times from nine till six with an hour break for lunch. Um, and I find that's a very good way uh, for concentration. Sometimes your concentration level just isn't there and you can't sit down for an hour and practice. And it would be useless to do so because after, after a while you're just playing through the music and it's not, not useful. So um, I, I, sometimes I do the half an hour off, half an hour on, um, which, which works out sometimes. But most of the time it's a couple of hours, three hours, sometimes four, five, <laughs> depending on the day.